boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Kim. I am Miss Kim, and today I have an adorable book to share with you. This story is a rhyming story about a little bunny who doesn't want to get out of bed. Snuggle Bunny, a scholastic story playbook by Kate Dupurak, illustrated by Corey Dorfield. Look at that. Ah, oh, I love to snuggle, don't you? <laughs> oh, wow. Listen for all the rhyming words in this story, and let's have some fun, shall we? Let's begin. Look at this page. Oh, look at him. He has a blankie over his head and he's reading his favorite book. I bet a lot of us like to read that way, don't we? Oh, wow, look at all that food. And mom is going up the stairs. Let's see what she's going to do. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Snuggle bunny hides in bed. Oh, he looks comfy cozy, doesn't he? Blanky, Teddy, big kid cup. Snuggle bunny won't get up. Snuggle bunny loves his Teddy. Yeah. Do you boys and girls have a special bedtime? buddy that you like to sleep with? Ah, I bet you do. Some of you just like a blanket. I bet you have a teddy bear or a bunny rabbit. And maybe a Mickey Mouse doll or a Mario doll, right? Look at that. He does look comfy cozy. Mama knows just what to do. She's a snuggle bunny, too. Ah, look at that. She grabbed a book. And look. Aw, who do you like to snuggle with? I bet your mom. Yeah. Or maybe your dad. Right. Or your grandma and grandpa. How cozy. Music and a storybook. Daddy comes to take a look. He's peeking in on the, through the door. What's your favorite song? Do you boys and girls have a favorite song that you like to listen to? Twinkle, twinkle, little star or the wheels on the bus? Or the Our Father song? Or some of us just like to listen to the sound of rain, don't we? Yeah. Daddy knows just what to do. He's a snuggle bunny too. What is Daddy doing? Wow. <laughs> They're all surprised at that, aren't they? Uh, how special. Building forts and hide and seek. Brother stops to take a peek. <gasps> wow, look at that fort. Oh, I bet a lot of you out there build forts in bed. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Now that brother is here, how many bunnies are in this family? Count them. How many did you count? One. Two, three, four, that's right, four bunnies. Snuggle Bunny jumps to say, Happy Snuggle Bunny Day. Oh, yay! What a fabulous day. <laughs> he's so excited, but look, he's out of bed, isn't he? He's jumping up and down. News spreads out all over town. Friends line up to snuggle down. Look at all of them. They all have their pajamas on. 
There's a fox family and a bear family. Let's see what it says. Does the bear family have more members in it? Or fewer fa members in it than the fox family? Oh, how many does the bear have? One, two, three, four. Did you already count the fox family? One, two, three. So does the bear family have more or fewer? That's right. They have more, don't they? Where are they going? They're going into the bunny house. <laughs> Neighbors all know what to do. They are snuggle bunnies too. Whoa, look at all of them. They're turning on the music, laying in the bed, dancing around. Oh, wow. It's a big pajama party. Oh, wow. Look at the frog. <laughs> more and more from far and wide. Hear the fun and come inside. Wow, look at all of them. Pillows. Oh, they're going up the stairs. Wow. Let's see what happens. Everyone knows what to do. They are snuggle bunnies too. Oh my gracious. They're getting comfy cozy on their pillows. Talking. Reading a book. Oh, look at the kitty family snuggling each other. <laughs> what fun. That's a lot of people up there, isn't it? Or animals. Uh-oh, big kid cup falls to the ground. Makes a rumbly tumbly sound. There it goes. It goes choo, choo, choo. <gasps> Who is the biggest animal? Who do you see in there that looks like the biggest animal? <gasps> Did I hear someone say elephant? Yeah, he's a pretty big one, isn't he? Elephants are big. Who is the smallest? Whoa, what do you think? Who would be the smallest? Wow. Hmm, that's kind of hard. But I see a snail. Snails are pretty small, aren't they? Yeah, they're little bitty. Very good. All the floorboards bend and shake. One by one, they start to break. Oh no, look at this. How do you think? Ah, uh, why do you think they're breaking? Ah, that's right. There's too many animals up there, aren't there? What do you think will happen next? What do you think, boys and girls? Oh, I think you're right. I think they're gonna going to fall through, aren't they? Yes, they are. Let's see. Creak and crack and crash and boom. Fall into the dining room. Oh no! What was in the dining room? Do you remember on the first page? That's right. All the food was on the table. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can you see all the food flying? Look at Bunny. He's using his blanket as a parachute, isn't he? Uh-oh. There's some scared faces in there. Let's see what happens next. Snuggle Bunny shouts, hooray! Breakfast is in bed today. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> because everything in his bed fell to the dining room. So now they're having kind of a breakfast in bed or a picnic, huh? Look at all of them. What a fun little book. 
I just love this little book. It's so special. And it gives us some ideas of how to play at home, doesn't it? Yeah, what were some of the things in there? That's what I like about this page. Creative ideas and activities. Well, Snuggle Bunny, Brother, Mommy, and Daddy built a fort together, didn't they? Now it's your turn. How would you make a fort? Yeah, you could use some chairs and put sheets or blankets down and put a sheet over the chairs and crawl inside. Oh, there's so many things you can do and you can decorate your fort, couldn't you? With your favorite pillows, favorite stuffed animals. Yeah. Some people even put little sparkly lights in there to make it fun. And Snuggle Bunny kind of created his own little holiday, didn't he? Yes, remember he's jumping on the bed and he said, Yay! Snuggle Bunny Day! <laughs> Boys and girls, I am so glad you joined me today in this little book, Snuggle Bunny. And remember, a good book and your imagination will take you anywhere. Until next time, bye.